I'm working on my mobile game Roller Rush, a game about steering these rolling characters for as long as possible until they don't roll anymore. And I'm finally out with a new update. In the last video I added two new biomes to the game. And now I've added two more, but I've added a lot of other stuff though, so first I want to take a look at the controls. In the last update I added a pretty crucial ability to the controls. Previously you were only able to go from left to right, so if you were about to hit a wall there was nothing you could do. So to fix this I added a ground pound ability where you make a quick swipe down while keeping your finger on the screen. But the issue here is that it's quite confusing and it also feels a bit awkward to do. And when you're going really fast you might end up accidentally activating it. So someone came up with the brilliant idea of just activating the ground pound with the other finger. This way you never accidentally activate it, so if you prefer that, now you have the option to change the finger of the ground pound. Now let's take a look at the biomes. Right now we only have three biomes, palmy plains, frosty fields and desert dunes. But we definitely need more than that. So the question is, what kind of biome should we add? Let's take a look at the comments. Hey, can you add a lava themed biome? I said this last time, but I think you should add a lava slash volcano biome. Also, I think a volcano lava type biome could be really cool. I will subscribe if you add a lava themed biome. I think we should make a volcano biome. To start off, let's replace the water with lava. The lava is actually pretty easy to make now that we already have water. The water is based on a material with this texture that gets distorted by these two maps, giving it the illusion of moving water. So, we just have to change the texture to make it look like lava. With a little help of Photoshop AI, I created this texture. If we then replace the water texture with this texture, we get something that looks like lava, and I think it looks pretty cool. Now, I don't think grass exists next to lava, so I replaced this with this uh, volcano looking ground. Next up is of course the volcanoes. I wasn't quite sure where to place these volcanoes or how big they should be. If we make them too big, they would be way too big of an obstacle. So instead, I think we should make a lot of smaller volcanoes, which can replace the palm trees, because those don't belong in this biome. To make the volcano, I opened up Blender and began modeling this small volcano. I think it would be cool if every volcano were bursting with lava. But I didn't know how to make that, so first I just added the cylinder and put the lava material on it. And this looks absolutely terrible. The issue with this is that it doesn't look like it's bursting upwards. But I got an idea. To make it look like it's going upwards, I created something called a shader in Unity. What I want to do here is to take the texture and just scroll it upwards over time. If we just turn up the speed, it gives the illusion of lava going upwards. On top of that, I added something called a Fresnel effect, where it makes the edges look like they're glowing. Now, it actually looks like lava, but it still doesn't look realistic because of this hole. So I came up with a pretty genius idea if you ask me. What I did was I created a particle system that generates these lava blobs, and then I put that on top so it covers the hole, and now it actually looks like the volcano is erupting. The rest of the volcano is still quite ugly though, so I tried making some kind of volcano texture, even though I don't know what I'm doing, but it actually turned out pretty great. With the volcanoes and the lava, it already feels like a volcano bomb. However, it doesn't make sense that there are leaves growing on the trees, so I replaced this with a withered tree. Another thing that can grow here is the blinding bushes. As you may know, every biome has their own blinding obstacle. The plains biome has a bush, the snow biome has a snowman, and the desert biome has a cactus. For this biome, I decided to make an even smaller volcano, and when you roll into it, the camera gets temporarily burned. The last thing that needs to be changed is the bounce pad. In the plains and the desert biome, the bounce pad is a flower, and in the snow biome, it's a geyser. Now the question is, what should it be in this biome? At first, I couldn't quite figure out what a volcano-themed bounce pad could be, because a volcano biome mostly only consists of, well, volcanoes. But then I discovered that there was something called fumaroles near volcanoes, and they sure looked like they could launch you in the air. So to make this, I reused the geyser model and changed up the texture to make it look like it emits steam instead. Along with that, I made a particle system to make it look like it's boiling. And with that, we have a volcano biome, which I'll name Volcano Valley. Actually, there's one more thing we need to fix. Currently, when a biome with water transitions to the volcano biome, the water changes to lava with this sharp edge. Obviously, that doesn't look realistic. We all know from Minecraft that when water and lava meet, it creates obsidian. So I just made this line of obsidian slash rocks to cover up the sharp edge. Now, let's go back to the controls, because I added a whole new control mode. As you may know, right now there are only two control modes. Drag mode and arrows mode, which I don't think anyone uses. But the third control mode I added is the highly suggested tilt controls. Many of you thought that tilt controls would be perfect for this game, because you only go from left to right, which can be controlled by the tilting of the phone. And when you want to ground pound, you just swipe with your finger. By the way, as you might have noticed, the roller I'm using is new. I've added four new rollers to the game. For the first one, I got the idea from the snowman in the snow biome. If you look at it, its head is basically a Rolo, so I created this cute snowman Rolo and named it uh, Melton. 
For the next one, a lot of you wanted a cat roller, so I added that. Along with that, I created five other variants in gray, black, blue, pink, and brown. Another highly requested roller I added was an axolotl. The last one I added was a panda. And of course, I also created a red panda variant. Now let's look at something completely different, which was highly requested. Many of you thought the gameplay could be more interesting if the game had quests. So I decided to make daily quests, where you get three new quests every day. I made a lot of different types of quests, like reach a certain score, get a certain amount of coins, or pick up a certain amount of power-ups. The last thing I added was another biome. This one is basically the complete opposite of the hardcore volcano biome, because now I want to make a pink candy biome. I took some inspiration from this map in Mario Kart where everything is made out of cake. So I think we should turn these cliffs into cake. In Photoshop I created this cake texture and put it on the cliffs. And instead of the grass I made it look like pink icing. Now we just need the candy. I thought replacing the palm trees with candy canes would be a great idea. For the other trees I wanted to transform them into cotton candy trees. To make the cotton candy I used these weird blobs in Blender called metaballs to form the shape and then I painted this texture for it. So now we got candy canes and cotton candy trees. The next thing I want to do is to turn the rocks into rock candy. I found this normal map that looks like crystals. A normal map is basically a texture that creates an illusion of surface details. So when I put it on the rock it looks like it's a detailed rock candy, but in reality the model itself hasn't changed. I can easily change its color, so I created a blue and purple one as well. For the blinding bush I decided to make a small blob of cotton candy, and when you roll into it you get covered in cotton candy. Finally, what should the bounce pad be in this biome? The obvious choice here is of course jelly. So I modeled this small green jelly and when you bounce on it I made it play a funny boing sound. And with that we have a candy biome and I'll name it Sugar Shores. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. The new update is out now on the App Store and the Google Play Store so go download it and I'll see you next time.